Uh, next, I would like to call upon Mr. Nagaraja Prakasham of Angel Investors to deliver the keynote speech. Sir. So, Prashodham and just uh, wake us all us. And I, I'm going to probably make it a little bit interactive. So, whenever I go to a college uh, for a speech, I ask this question. So, I'm going to ask you as well. How many of you can sing? How many of you can sing? Everyone. Everyone. Only five, six. That's all, right? If I ask this question on a first class, one hand class, in the question, get developer. Everybody. What happened to us? Yes? So that's what happened to us is about we are conditioned, right? We are looking at others in the next who is sitting, whether he is raising the hand or not. So that's what happening to our students as well. So what the creativity they had in their mind when they came to us, what they leave, it's not gone. Because today it's all about knowledge industry. So many of these big companies are struggling to innovate. What is the last innovation from Google? Nothing, right? Last 10, 15 years, zero innovation from Google. There is innovation from Microsoft in the last 15 years. Hope they're not sponsors of this event. <laughs> but, but what they want is our students to innovate for them, right? So that's what the knowledge industry needs today. Because knowledge industry does not need a factory workers. If you work on a textile industry, the last 20 years, the spinning spindles are the same. But I learned C language in probably Tagaraja in 92, it's no longer useful. If I say C language to the younger generation, they're going to laugh at it. So that's where this industry, the knowledge industry is all about innovation, about how you are staying ahead of the curve, how you're innovating. I'll give you an example of my, I'm from Mana Madurai, right? I studied in Madurai. My first job in, 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 uh, in a Bangalore company, I used to keep my paste and brush, I used to sleep in the office. So one day when the boss came in the morning, we ripped up off the entire cabling. We put the, that time it used to call Ethernet, right? You have this network now. So we removed the entire Ethernet and put the next cable in. So that would have costed a couple of lakhs for the company that time. But we didn't ask for permission. We did it, right? So the next day, these guys came in. In one week, all of us got promoted. So that's what knowledge industry is all about, right? It's not going to be waiting for proposals, people, and all that. So similar thing, right? It's all about how you are keep on innovating. Whether you may get a no for 100 times, but one innovation, one idea that you submit to a company that could change the whole company, right? So I was in a other company organization. So I just gave one idea about how we can go to the internet, right? So I got promoted to a director in a thing. So at the age of 35, they sent me to India to set up an India operation. So this is what somebody could from Anamadurai could do it, right? So it's no longer it's some guy from IIT, Chennai, or Madras, Bangalore, but everyone in Tunnel Valley, Madurai, whatever, Viraganur, everywhere, it was possible. But if you, you calculate the seed into them that I am innovative, right? So we kill the creativity of our students in the name of obedience. We do not need obedience. We need college guys go break the lab. So we do not have the culture. So we need to go educate, you know, encourage our students go creative, innovative. That's where you can build the innovation knowledge industry. Every IT company in Bangalore is setting up a facility to train people, right? Infosys have a 10,000 people campus. What are they doing? They're taking all your uh, students and unlearning it. They are just completely redesigning themselves. Can we do that now in your colleges so that this region should be coming out as that, wow, you can just go to this region, pick up people, eyes closed, right? So these guys are creative, innovative. So they're going to come to us for a fantastic innovation that's going to next to it, right? Bill Gates used to tell that every morning he wakes up paranoid. Who somewhere in the remote part of the world, some young guy come up with some innovation that would kill Microsoft. So that is the power that we all have. Thanks to the information world, the information is flat. What is available to somebody in Varaganur is same as Washington DC, right? So when that power is there, which was not there 20 years back, how are we leveraging that? You build your own resume, right? You don't need to wait for final year to complete. 
just write a blog, become a thought leader, create innovation, ideas. So this will talk in your, uh, you know, uh, resumes, in interviews. You don't need to answer some stupid Java question, right? You just show that, this show, go look at my blog. So that's why today it's happening. It's no longer about tests and all that stuff. We can get our students ahead if we can identify, have them create, innovate, and utilize the social media very well, and also properly as well, right? If they had a party, don't post the pictures as well. So there's a problem also because recruiters are looking at social media. So follow your cyber footprint, right? We have people need to have a watch out their cyber footprint. Have our student utilize the social media to encourage your college, your uh, themselves as well, some innovation that they have done, some work that they have done. So this is what's going to happen the next century, right? Next decade. So no longer it's about mug up this 10 questions in Java that my senior passed on to me that I'm going to pass on to this interview. It's no longer that. In, so I was the president of the company when I just left this company, right? I was managing around 3,000 people. So one thing we look at when we do the appraisal, we have something called exceeding expectation, right? So there is something called meeting expectation, below expectations, exceed, exceeding expectation. What is exceeding expectation? You do something that I've never thought of. So that's what the knowledge industry needs. So can you create the exceeding expectation students then employability comes automatically to you. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Thank you for your powerful words, sir.